Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the watercolor effect in Adobe Sketch. Adobe Sketch is available for free in the App Store and you can use it when you have an Adobe Creative Cloud membership. But you can also sign up for free and then you have two gigabytes of storage on Adobe Creative Cloud. I really wanted to test out the watercolor effect in Adobe Sketch. It has a very cool effect. But first I need to sketch uh, a drawing and I'm just going to use my own character Horace Hippo. So I'm first sketching him with the pencil brush and then on a separate layer I'm doing the inks with uh, a new brush that's made by Kyle T. Webster. And Kyle T. Webster is an illustrator and he made some incredible brushes for Adobe Photoshop. And now Adobe has invited him to also make special brushes for Adobe Sketch. So I'm really excited about his brushes and you can also import brushes from your Creative Cloud if you have bought some brushes uh, from Kyle T. Webster. You can also use them in Adobe Sketch. So I'm now finished with the sketch and the ink and now it's time to do the watercolors of Horace Hippo. Now I'm opening up uh, a new draw layer and now I'm going to uh, do the colors of Horace Hippo. And I'm using the watercolor brush which is on the bottom of all the brushes. Great thing about this is that it also has running water. So when you zoom in on the image, you can see when you apply paint that it dries slowly and it's um, just the more pressure you uh, apply to the canvas, then you can see the watercolor, you know, uh, having the effect of watercolor. And you don't have a lot of control over it. It's just like, you know, doing washes of watercolor on paper. So I'm just starting out with a, a gray tone and the flow of um, the brush is set to around 70%. So you can build up. Um, the watercolors and you can see the water running which is a cool effect of course but I think this is one of uh, the apps you know that you can really do watercolors with and make it look like uh, real watercolors so I'm just building up the body of Horus Hippo and also adjust the brush size and it only works uh, with the, the areas you have already painted so now you can see that it really runs out in the parts you have already painted uh, with the watercolors now doing the the left arm And with a little bit of practice, you know, you can get some real cool effects. It also has a little bit of a structure of paper in it. And for the smaller areas, I'm just adjusting the pencil size. I'm just building up the, the color and it's black, but... I'm also going to use some other colors as well to make it a little bit more interesting and have a real watercolor feel to it. I'm making it a little bit darker and you can do that with the sliders. And here you can uh, see the effect more clearly. Because I'm adding a little bit more of a darker tone and it's a bit of a purple uh, gray. You can just tap on 
the canvas, you know, to uh, build it up slowly. So it really has the effect of uh, running watercolors. And when you let go, then the effect will take place. And you also see underneath all the, the brushes that there is a little circle with a fan in it. And when you press on that, then you'll get the effect of the running water. So you, you really need to play around, you know, with uh, how much pressure you're going to apply and to get um, the real watercolor effect. And sometimes, you know, you just need to apply the paint and let the brush do the work for you or the effect of the watercolor brush in Adobe Sketch. In that way, you get more uh, a watercolor feel to your drawing. And now I use a separate layer for uh, the red color to, you know, don't uh, mix it up with the gray color I did uh, on the bottom layer. Because it will also bleed into the other parts you uh, have painted before. Because it reacts to all the areas you have painted uh, on your layer. So I'm first doing it uh, with red and I have it to a transparency of uh, I think around uh, 75%. And you know this really that bleeding into uh, other colors you know is very similar to uh, doing it on paper. I'm just going to build up the colors of the, the pencil holder just by reapplying the paint and build up. Uh, the colors. What you also can do is uh, select a color. So when you press on the little circle for the colors and then drag it to your canvas, you can pick your colors. I'm adding some orange to the eraser. And picking some colors from uh, the jacket of Horace Hippo with the color picker. Now selecting a new layer and I'm going to uh, drag it to the bottom of the image and select the shape tool of a circle. And I'm going to use the watercolor again to first draw in the entire shape of the circle. And you can just draw around it. And then press on the X. And then the shape is gone. So I'm now going to uh, paint the entire circle with the watercolor brush. And because it's behind it, I can also paint behind Horus Hippo. But I see that I uh, forgot to uh, paint in some white on his face. So you can see the, uh, the background color shining through. So I have to fix that later. But because it's a very random brush, you really get the effect of watercolors because it will run in ways, you know, you cannot uh, paint that yourself to get the effect. So I just let the brush do the, the watercolor effect. The circle also runs out a little, but that's okay. 
because I'm going for the watercolor look. Gonna apply a, <clears throat> a different kind of blue just to get a little bit more of the layered effect of doing color over color in watercolors. Now I'm going to fix the uh, nose of Horus Hippo. I'm painting it with a different brush, a more opaque brush. Now I'm going to do some touch-ups, you know, to make it a little bit more interesting. Just choosing which brush I'm going to uh, use to do that. I'm choosing a more blue color to, you know, do some washes on top of the body of uh, Horus Hippo. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, or subscribe to my channel. I'm currently working on the book Adobe Sketch Video Manual. You can pre-order it soon on iBooks and on Vimeo On Demand. I will let you know when the pre-order will start for this book. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!